Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today is Makeup Bag Monday, week number 34. Basically, every week I rotate what I'm going to be using for a full week with new makeup products that I'm testing out, products from first impression videos, or products in my makeup collection that I might have forgotten about to revisit and see if I still love it before purging it from my makeup collection. Essentially, an in-depth weekly makeup bag review. If you want to see how the products performed from last week, makeup bag week number 33, then just keep on watching and I'll also let you know what I am going to be testing out for the upcoming week. Let's get started. The first products, let's talk about face, are the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This has an SPF 30. It's a physical SPF and it is super hydrating and lightweight. Also just makes your skin look very dewy and glowy. When I first did my first impression on this, I did not like it, but I was still very oily around my face. And since I've tested this out, I think I turned 30. Yeah, I think since this came out, I've turned 30 and my skin completely dried up. So I need a lot more hydration and a lot more moisture in my makeup products. I can't do the matte products anymore. So I wanted to revisit this and I really do enjoy it. And I specifically love the new color shades because when I first bought it, I was given the shade number four or number three and it wasn't the perfect match. So now I have the shade 4.5 in wheat. It's very, very hydrating and dewy and radiant looking, very light coverage. So when I want a little bit more coverage, I will use the Bare Minerals Original Foundation, which I was also testing out because of the new shades. This is in soft medium, and I think it's a much better match for me. Medium beige was my other shade. So I think Bare Minerals really did a good job in filling the gaps in what was missing for us in between the shades that they had. So this was great for a lightweight, light dewy finish, just kind of like a wash of coverage. And then I would layer this over it for a more full coverage. And what was really impressive is how much coverage I could get with just this and this. And it really does a nice job at giving me a natural long wearing coverage because I wore this in my recent downtown shopping vlog, which should be going up this week over on my second channel, More Serene. Really, really hot. As I'm editing, I was looking at my skin through the vlog and I'm like, wow, my skin looks really good, even though I'm sweating and even though I'm like out and about and I'm using my super ultra HD vlog camera that is completely unforgiving when it comes to what my skin looks like. So I was really impressed with how this looks on camera. I was really impressed with how it looks in real life because it still looks natural and you can build it up to definitely a medium, maybe a full coverage. Full coverage for me, I know some of you guys don't think it's enough. So what I would recommend is layering the Bare Minerals Original over this. And I just loved how it wore throughout the day and I didn't have to worry about it, but I knew it was there and I knew it was wearing well. So I do recommend these and it works really well if you have dry skin skin and it works really well if you have combination skin. If you have super oily skin, I'm not quite sure you're going to like the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, but I think you would really like the Bare Minerals Original and you can use it with like a mattifying primer instead. The Prime Time from Bare Minerals was one of my favorite primers back in the day when I was a little bit more oily because it has a very nice slippery slidey feel and it does keep you pretty controlled in terms of oil. Not drying but controlled. The eyeshadow palette I was testing out is from NYX, the ultimate shadow palette, and this is in warm neutrals. I purchased this before I dyed my hair and see, I'm really behind in trying out products. But now the shades and the pigmentation are pretty decent. I'm quite impressed with it. It's under 20 bucks and you're getting a really good value for what you're paying for. The actual shade range is not what I'm kind of going for lately. I've been wearing a lot more neutral to cool toned eye makeup because I think it looks better with my blue silver hair. It just looks better on me. Um, warm eyeshadows don't always look the best, but I still do test them out for you guys because I know that's kind of like the most um, universally loved eyeshadow palette. And before I dyed my hair, that was like all I wanted. That's all I owned. That's all I would like to wear. It's pretty evenly pigmented and the quality is pretty consistent throughout the palette. You have a good mix of mattes and shimmers. Now, I feel like it's not quite as good as some of the more upscale, higher-end luxe eyeshadow palettes, but for the price, I don't think you're going to miss out on something that you can't afford. Definitely recommend this over a lot of drugstore eyeshadow palettes because 
I find that a lot of drugstore eyeshadow palettes are inconsistent in quality and even though they might be a little more affordable, they are difficult to work with and this is not difficult to work with. You can definitely make this work and if you use a yogurt primer like the NYX White eyeshadow stick, you will get a higher color payoff with these eyeshadows. So you can definitely make these work and I think for an affordable drugstore-ish price range, you'll be really happy with this. The cheek palette I was working with is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Blush Palette. And I really like this. You guys were complimenting me on my blushes the last week. You're like, I really like what's on your cheeks. This was what I was wearing on my cheeks in terms of blushes. I would mix shades though. Like this was my kind of go-to everyday shade, the, the one on my right, maybe your left. And then I would mix like the coral and this one. So I really focused on these last two shades over here. It's not overly pigmented. So if you like a really pigmented blush, this is not the palette for you. But this is the perfect amount of pigmentation for me because I tend to get like patchy skin right around here and it doesn't look patchy until I start doing the bronzer and the blush. So what I liked about this is that you can work with it and build it up and you don't overdo it right away and try to blend everything out. It's just really easy to work with and add to it. And the formulation is a little bit dry, but again, it doesn't look that way. It just feels that way when I'm swatching it. Now, a product that was kind of a miss for me, but if you wanted to try it out, you can definitely make it work. I made it work are these L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliners. These at first seemed like a great idea and really, really fun, but the felt tip applicator is very dry. So I would shake it up and I'm trying to like draw a line, but they're super dry. It's very inconsistent and it kind of drags on the skin. So it made it really hard to draw an even line on my eyes. And I played with the blue liner and it was just kind of a nightmare to try and work with these on my eyes because they were so dry. So I shook them up. I would like practice on my hand and then I would like try and get it going. I did make it work, but it was one of those things where I'm like, eh, do I really want to make my eyeliners work that hard? <laughs> do I want to work that hard for my eyeliner? The answer is no. There are better drugstore alternatives. This has a couple. Jessie's Girl has one. Um, I think the other one from L'Oreal is even better. So these colorful ones are super dry. Um, even the black one was really difficult to work with. It took me a really long time to use them. So while you can make them work, you're going to have to work very hard and it's not something I would recommend for every single day. Now if you wanted a colorful liquid eyeliner to play with specifically for Coachella, festival season, or just for fun, yeah, you can use these. They will work. Um, be patient with them and kind of practice. But in terms of a product, I just don't think they're worth the money because they're not that great. And I do think that there are other eyeliners that are colorful that come in fun shades that can work a little bit better. Jessie's Girl, I wouldn't recommend the colorful ones. I only recommend the black one from Jessie's Girl. I tried the colorful ones. I didn't like them. They like were a little bit too wet and made a mess. And then I know like there's a couple, there might be some colorful ones from NYX. I'm not 100% sure. And then I know the gel pots from e.l.f. There are colorful ones that work really well. So if you want colorful eyeliners, there are options out there that are a little bit easier to work with than these from L'Oreal. So unfortunately, these were a fail for me. The next products I tried out were also from L'Oreal and these are the L'Oreal Infallible Paints um, I, eyeshadows and you get two in one. I played with the very neutral shades. So I played with Cool Ivory, which is this one, and then I played with Nude Finish 318. So I do like these. They're very, very wet. So if you're looking for a liquid eyeshadow to kind of just put onto your eyes, I use them as a base and I would have to kind of let them dry. So you put them on and then you kind of let them dry up and then they work. It is a really fun product and I think for the price, especially if you have a coupon, it's a good value because you get two shades in one. Now, while they're very wet, it also causes another issue where they don't apply very evenly. So what I like to do is apply it and then I kind of pat it with my ring finger to disperse the product and make sure it's really even. So the doe foot applicator is just kind of like a, a vessel for the product and you'll really wanna go in with your fingers. 
Now something I did like is from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Paints and these are, I guess they're the lip colors. They're just called their lip colors. I love the shades 312 Nude Star and 314 Spicy Blush. These are really fun. They come in a lot of fun colors. Now the one thing I don't like about these is the scent. It's very, very sugary, like fake, fake sweet lipstick scent. Um, it does dissipate after a minute, but you know, when you're applying it, you just hold your breath. Cuter's really nice. It's a lot of color payoff and it's got like a nice kind of glossy, not super glossy, but definitely not matte finish to it. They last a relatively long time on my lips, but again, it's one of those things that you're going to want to reapply. Super fun. They remind me a little bit of the Makeup Forever Artist Acro Lips. Um, I think is what they're called. Those are a little bit drier and they dry down to a stain, but you can build them up for a full lip effect. These are more of a full lip effect immediately and definitely a little bit more glossy and not quite as long lasting. And finally, the highlight I was using is the new Jouer Highlight in Rose Gold. I really like this, but it's definitely a highlight not for the faint of heart because it, on me, especially my skin tone, when you swipe it, you definitely get that like golden highlight and when I'm out in the sun you see the highlight like the highlight is there so out of all of the pressed powder highlights from Jouer my favorite one is still going to be citrine and topaz rose gold is limited edition currently as well as the springtime in Paris palette and the rose gold lip topper and liquid lip cream and this highlight if you like it definitely pick it up um you can use my discount code serene 15 for 15 15% off of the entire Jouer website. However, um, if you are going to only pick one highlight, I definitely recommend Citrine or Topaz. Those are still my favorites. This is beautiful. It's fun for spring. It's fun for like a really golden rose gold highlight. Um, but if you're looking for something for your makeup collection all every day, I definitely recommend Citrine or Topaz. The fragrance I was wearing again was from Guerlain. It's over there on my fragrance counter. I haven't, I didn't, I forgot to grab it over here. But I really love that fragrance. I, it was the, it was two weeks in a row, so I'm not going to talk too much about that. So let's move into what I'm going to be testing out for the upcoming week. Um, it's going to be a lot of stuff from Mali Beauty. I did a full first impression video completely using Mali Beauty on my entire face, and then I filmed some videos that day, and everybody was like, oh my god, I love your makeup, I love your makeup, I love your makeup, and I'm wearing it again today. Full first impressions on Mali Beauty will be up on Friday, but I'm going to be testing out their products for a full week because I want to see, like, you know, first impressions are, I can usually judge really quickly if I love something or not after wearing it for a full day, especially after, like, reviewing products so much, but I always love to put those into my makeup bag Mondays because I want to see how they perform under stress, under different circumstances through my week. It's kind of a sneak peek as to what is coming on Friday for my first impression. This is the foundation I've been wearing and you guys have been complimenting me on and this is the Flawless Finish Transforming Effect Foundation. I have the shade in medium. It's a solid foundation that turns into a cream and then like dries down. So it comes in one of these compacts but it's not necessarily a cushion foundation. It's definitely like a solid that you press and it turns into a liquid. I am also testing out the eyeshadow palette that I've been wearing on my eyes and this is the Mali Ageless Eyes eyeshadow palette volume 2. This has a good mix of cool tones and neutrals as well as a couple warm tones thrown in there. Good mix of shimmers and mattes as well. Um, it's what I'm wearing today. It's what I've been wearing in my last few videos and you guys were like, what's on your eyes? If you guys don't know, I fill Makeup Bag Mondays every week, but I am actually ahead of schedule. So by the time you see my Makeup Bag Mondays, I'm already moving on to the further weeks because I give myself a little bit of buffer. Um, so that's how it, it works. Testing out this Mali Evercolor Poreless Face Defender Boost. That's what I've been wearing on my cheeks as kind of my bronzer. And I'm testing out, this is the Evercolor Poreless Face Defender, and this is a clear one. So this is what I've been using to set my face and to kind of, yeah, essentially this replaces your setting powder. I have a concealer, this is in light, it's the H3 concealer. The Mali Voluminizing Mascara in black. I have the Mali Perfect Prep Under Eye Brightener Lightener, it's like a yellowy shade. I also have some Mali eyeshadow sticks. These are a tried and true favorite of mine, but I'm going to be testing out some other colors. And then I have a lipstick, which is what I'm wearing today. Where did I put that? 
I have the Mali three, H3 Gel Lipstick, and this is in the shade Buff. So it's a really good everyday shade. And I have some, I have some twist up eyeliners. I also have some Mali H3 Color Wand. So I think these are lip crayons. So let's see what this looks like. Yeah, so we'll, we'll test these out. I have some lip crayons. And for the fragrance next week, I am going to be, or this week, next week, for the fragrance, I'm going to be rotating into my makeup bag. It's going to be the Fresh Hesperidus Grapefruit. So I have the body wash, body lotion, and now I am going to be layering my scent with the fragrance. I love fresh scents. They're very light and they don't give me a headache typically. So I love the Citron de Vie because of memories with it. And I wanted to try out the grapefruit scent because I think with the warmer weather for spring, I like citrusy scents and I have a little small size of it. So I'll be rotating this in for my Makeup Bag Monday. If you'd like to see how these products perform with swatches, inserts of demos, then make sure you check back next week for Makeup Bag Monday week number 35. And don't forget, I upload three new videos here on my main channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have two new videos on my second channel every week, Tuesday and Thursdays. And I have a new podcast episode that goes up on Behind the Beauty Podcast on YouTube. It's a separate channel every Saturday. Saturday. My voice cracked <laughs> every Saturday. So you get six YouTube videos every week here are on all three of my channels. If you want to know more, I just did an update video about how I'm doing, what's going on, my new channel for Behind the Beauty podcast where you can watch the interviews over there or listen and do chores. And of course, I have my two channels that I upload which is this channel, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, more serene, Tuesday, Thursdays. And if you like to listen to the podcast on iTunes or Podbean or SoundCloud or Google Play, that's available for download every Friday at midnight. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for your support in Friday's video. It was an update video explaining to you guys what's been going on. And I really appreciate all of the love, support, and positivity. It's what has kept me going. Um, it's how I've been grieving. I've, you know, grief is a very personal thing. And, you know, I try to put on a happy face for you guys. And usually I am happy when I'm filming for you all. But it's, it's going to have its ebbs and flows. I by no means think that two months is enough time to grieve the loss of my mother. But it's interesting because I'll be doing really well and then it, it hits me. And, you know, um, I do know that that's going to happen. It's, it's a process. And... It, it's not something that anybody can put a time on. I think it's just one of those things that sometimes it'll hit me, sometimes it won't. And sometimes like watching YouTube videos is enough and sometimes it's not. So I wanna thank you guys for understanding. I wanna thank you guys for the continued love and support. Um, it means more than you guys could ever, ever know. It really does. Like I don't think you guys, I, I can't put it into words or actions how much this community has helped me, not just with my mom, but for a lot of things. And um, I just wanna thank you guys for that. So I will see you guys back here on Wednesday for a new beauty video. But if you wanna see more, go check out my channel, More Serene, for lifestyle DIYs, vlogs, PR unboxings, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys back here on Wednesday. Bye.